going everybody RDC here back on the video here today and we are going to be reacting to the resident season six episode one yo i've loved this show since it first started i was actually i did watch the show right when it premiered for the first time season one episode one i instantly became one of my favorite shows um i love 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 the conrad and nick relationship um i was truly broken when nick died um, that episode was just, wow, wow, um, Conrad, one of my favorite characters ever, like, I think he's just such a good, good character, such a good character, um, I love Bell, Kit Bell, yo, they're amazing, I love, uh, Devin, yo, I, I love everything, you know, um, I, I love all the relationships on the show, they're all so good, um, then the show has changed a lot over, since it started, honestly, we've lost a lot of characters, but then there's also been a lot of good characters come, coming in. Um, so that's also really good. I'm interested. I'm very, very, very interested to see how this whole Conrad, Billy, Kate thing goes. This triangle um, goes. And um, what's it, what's this going to be like? Because at the end of season five, we saw him taking a shot. Or he was drinking, finished his drink. And Kate and Billy were at the bar, you know, talking together. And it was kind of like he was deciding, like, which one he likes the most, you know. Which one, like... Which one's the better fit? All that stuff. Because he's worried about Gigi, you know? Um, so I'm excited to see how this all unfolds. I'm excited to see where the fandom is. I think I know most of the fandom wants Billy and Conrad. Which I like. I like both ships, honestly. I like both women for him, honestly. I think they're both good. They both have their qualities. And, like, they're really... Um, I think they both would fit Conrad really well. Um, I don't know which one I want more. Um, I like Conrad and I like Kate. I like Kate a lot, but I also see the relationship with Billy being special if that, if they go that way, you know, um, I could really, really see it. Um, but I don't know, man, it's, it's a, it's a really tough, it, it's really tough because Billy was Nick's best friend. So how does that look? You know, how does that look? Um, but I think that their relationship is great now and I know Billy is in love with Conrad, but Conrad has no idea, so that's going to be interesting to see when he figures that out, and when he finds out, that's going to be really, really crazy, so I'm excited for that, um, I know him and Cade, like, they're growing, their relationship is growing, their feelings are growing, you can see at the end of last season, he was falling in love with her, and even Billy knew, you know, even Billy knew, and she even called it out, and uh, Conrad was like, I don't know, and all that stuff, and he was just like, you know, he, he doesn't even know if he's ready to love again, you know, really, but I think at the end of season five, he really figured out and, and like, realized that he kind of is ready to love again, and even though it's sad, it's super, super sad, because the way we lost Nick, and the way he lost Nick, it's so break heartbreaking, because they were such a special, sh like, ship, and they were supposed to be this iconic ship, which they are still iconic, but... It just sucks the way we lost her, man. Like, man, Emily Van Camp is so good, man. Like, so, so good. Like, uh, I miss her on the show so much. And I miss her and Conrad's relationship because I think it was so, so special, man. And they're, like, they're enemies to lovers, like, when they were, they were ex to lovers. And then, like, you know, all their stuff, like, when we first met them, they were exes. Then they fell in love again. And, like, it was just special, man. It was so, so special. And it sucks, man. It really, really sucks. Uh, I'm excited for Devin this year, though. This season, I'm really, really excited. I want to see him like have a bigger role. I mean, he's had a bigger, like a big role, but I want to see him even do even more. Um, and um, I, I really want to see that. You know, I really, really, really want that. And I want to see his relationship with Leela, um, like really be amazing. Honestly, like, um, and all that. Um, but yeah, I want to see Devin and Leela's relationship grow and even get bigger. Um, they basically broke up because of like the whole pregnancy thing and all this stuff and babies. And, um, so I'm hoping that, that this season is just amazing for them, honestly, because I love these two together and Devin's been through so much. He's been through so many relationships. Um, and, um, yeah, I just want to see him happy, honestly. And Kit Bell, you know, that's that's another ship, man. They're amazing. Everybody loves them. How could you not love them? It's still so crazy to me that at one point we hated Bell. We hated him. I hated him so much. But then now he's become one of the best characters. So that's crazy. That's amazing. And um, I'm excited to see where the season goes. I'm really, really excited. If you guys want to see more, 
and want to see me keep reacting to the resident all you gotta do is like the video comment down below let me know let's have a conversation let's uh, see how this relationship goes comment down below right now are you team Cade or team billy i don't know what side i'm on like i'm 50 50 honestly like maybe 60 40 billy but like i'm like i don't know I, they're both good they both they're both they both can be really good um i both i think they both have chemistry with conrad too so I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm excited to see this. I'm excited to see which way they go. I think whichever one, if he gets with someone really quickly, if he gets with Cade or Billy quickly, which I don't think he's going to get with Billy quick, but if he gets with Cade really quick, like in the first two episodes, I think that's bad for Cade. I think that's going to mean that Billy is going to be, Billy and Conrad are going to be in game because I think if you put them together too soon, it's going to mean like, I don't, I don't know. It's just going to be like, weird and i think it's going to something's gonna happen you know i don't think they're gonna last if they get together really quickly you know they gotta have the slow burn whoever has the slow burn is gonna be in game i think but uh, let's get right into this episode enough talking that was a long talk i'm sorry for that but let's get right into this episode if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe let's get right into this episode here we go that's the thing i want to see aj too i want to see aj happy what the heck is happening in there somewhere bro what the heck Whose house is this? This better not be Conrad's. This music too. Is this the same show? Is this the Resident? Bro, this music is too creepy, bro. Bro, what the heck? Hold up, bro. Close the door. What the heck? Bro. That's easy. Yeah, what the heck? I'm coming, sweetheart. Oh, she's having she's having nightmares. Daddy. It's okay, I'm here, honey. <laughs> Yo, man, Conrad's such a good dad, man. Love him. What's going on? There was a bad man. He scared me. There's no one here but me. Look, look. see, see. He was gonna hurt me. I won't let anyone hurt you. Can I sleep in your room tonight? <laughs> I'll stay right here until you go to sleep again. Please. <laughs> Yo, imagine if Nick was there and then she was sleeping in bed with them. Man, I miss. I love seeing him be a single father, but like, I I miss the family that him and Nick were creating, man. Yes. Why? <laughs> This is like a perfect Here. double date. So, uh, like which one of us has the most to celebrate? Fall in love. Uh, me, because I'm having twins. <laughs> perfect, healthy, Ooh, hiccuping at this very moment, baby boys. Yeah. They gotta, they gotta fall in love, bro. You can't have just twins with a person and not fall in love with them. It just got published in the New ah. England Journal of Oncology. Hey, respect, man. Ah, thank you, thank you. And well, I don't mind taking third place. I just closed on the perfect condo for Padma and the babies, <laughs> and it's in a great school district on my dad. Nice. AJ is controlling five years out. <laughs> here, here. And Conrad finally has a new love oh, at last. That is love. a big deal. And what about you? Chastain's newest chief resident. Okay. We all know what that means. You are the most promising young surgeon at Chastain. She is really good. <laughs> the, whew. You okay? Uh -oh. Um. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Woozy, I felt a little faint. Maybe I got up too fast. You know what's been happening? Uh oh. Lightheaded and. Oh. oh, no, no. What the? Bro, what the heck? Oh, a new intro? What the heck? Wait, I kind of like this intro. I missed the song, though. I missed the song, the original. This is actually fire, though. I like this intro. Yo, that's a fire intro. I'm not going to lie. Sierra? Oh, Dr. Hawkins, I'm so glad you're here. What have you done this time? For me, oh, nothing. I was viciously attacked by a vat of barbecue sauce. Let me see. That's, that's great. Who knew being head chef would be so dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. That's a bad burn. Oh, I gotta go. The lunch service won't wait for me. 
Ooh, your Whoa, just got started. That burn needs a lot more attention. He attacks the gate. Slight confusion. This is the second time we've treated her in a month. Oh. It's time we talk about why she's so accident prone. Sorry, my friend, but we have a few more things to check out. Wait. Right. Um. Let's go. <laughs> We should get Billy on board for a narrow exam. Mm, that won't be necessary. Chefs have a high rate of addiction. We should start with the dog screen. No, but it has gotten worse and she's... See, I didn't realize she was that, like, pregnant. How, what's this time jump looking like? How far along is this? They let I see the, you missed your last prenatal appointment. Do you did what? <laughs> Fatima. I'm wow. sorry, okay? Oh, God, there's just so many appointments. And Bro. I didn't want the ultrasound. You know, See, no yo, one really knows needed, what those right? <laughs> This is gonna be bad, bro. She missed a freaking appointment. Okay, here's baby one. Good size. And baby two is oh, shoot. right here. One is much bigger than the other. I can see that. Dang, I don't like that one's barely hanging on. Oh man, oh man. Their hearts don't sound the same. Yeah. They're they're identical. Their their hearts should be identical. Why didn't you page me for a consult sooner? We were waiting for the tox screen to come back. The NCR decompensated rapidly. It wasn't initially clear it was neurological. Conrad thought it was. It's my bad. You've got this if you need it in the ER. Bruh, Billy, what the I hate to go. Keep me posted? Yeah. How's Gigi? The same. She had another nightmare. Oh, I'm worried. Me too. <laughs> what was Billy just fixing on her shoulder? <laughs> I'd try to get her to talk about the bad dreams and what they're about, but she wouldn't say. Do you think this could have anything to do with Nick's death? <sighs> yeah, maybe. It's possible. I'm not gonna lie. They look like a married couple right Gigi now. Gigi was a tiny baby when Nick like died. I mean, right she now. thinks of Nick as her guardian angel looking out for her. No. Conrad. It's just brutal seeing her like this. I can't stop it. Can't help. Fixing things like this is supposed to be my job. Hey, it's gonna be okay. <sighs> You're a great dad Dang. and a great diagnostician. You'll get to the bottom of this. Bro, they like they Thank bro, you. they look like a good couple, man. Like they dang. I don't know what I'd do without your support. Oh shoot. She wants more than that, though. She wanted him to say something else. But he doesn't know. Okay. Our talented chef has a mass roughly the size of a marble located between the temporal lobe and the cerebellum. Causing all her symptoms. Yeah, we're going to have to operate to figure out what it is. Uh, Louis, this is a mistake. Can we at least discuss it? Dang, look at his face, damn. I see. Well, good luck with everything. What is it? For this trial, they've decided to partner with Baltimore Advanced Sciences because of their superior facilities. Um, so they're canceling our trial? Yes. There will be other trials, I hope. I I'm sure. Your twins have something called twin to twin transfusion syndrome. It only affects identical twins because they, they share the same placenta. One twin, the larger one, is getting too much blood, which will cause his heart to fail. The heart of the other twin is not getting enough blood, which is why he's so small. We have to use lasers to cut the blood vessels linking the babies. And if all goes well, the babies will thrive to be healthy kids and then ultimately healthy adults. Yeah. You're making it sound simple, but I don't think it is. You're right. I have to tell you that no matter what we do, the smaller baby is in grave danger and may not survive. That's scary, man. That's really scary. I shouldn't missed my appointment. This is my fault. There is no way that this is your fault. Most likely, no one would have been able to see this earlier. <laughs> Just do whatever you have to do. Please save my babies. <laughs> Yo, don't don't let AJ lose a kid now. Don't don't do this. AJ's lost enough, man. He just lost his mom. Come on. Lucky to have you here, Tristan. But the equipment I need to do it isn't here. Oh. It requires very specialized tools. The closest AJ's face, bro. fetal His surgery center is in bro. Orlando. 
We need to transfer Padma as soon as possible, and the surgery Damn. will have to be done by a doctor there. Well, we wanted you to do the surgery. Well, and I would love to. I am incredibly frustrated that I can't, but... He has health. Public hospitals very rarely have the capability to do fetal surgery. Let's focus on what we have to do. How quickly must this happen? As soon as possible. A smaller baby could die within hours, and if that happens, the other twin will die too. Dang, man. That's crazy. They can't do it there? Man. And this would be great for Sullivan to do, because then people would like, like his character even more. We don't know this is cancer, much less a GBM. What else could it be? Dr. Sutton has to operate to find out. The surgery is dangerous with many possible complications. We need to go over them. No, and I, I grew up homeless. Damn. I never graduated high school. I apprenticed in kitchens and I learned my trade. And I won a James Beard Award at 28. <laughs> oh. I love my life and I will take any risk. You're a badass. <laughs> hey, that's Belle. Let's go. Hello, my dear. So I have some good news. They're trying me on a new anti-CD20 antibody that's been shown to reduce relapse rates. And so far, I'm tolerating it really well. That's wonderful news. It's just so hard being away from you. I wish I was there to help. No, you're exactly where you need where to is be. He? You don't have to worry about me or Chastain. Just concentrate on finishing the treatment. It's just a few more months just seems like forever. Hmm, but it'll be worth it. When you come back home, you'll be healthy and strong for our wedding. Oh, wedding. Anyway. Let's go. Love you. Damn, of course there will be a storm too. Of course. I'm sorry. They barely managed to land safely. Now they're grounded. They can't take off in this. What? It's okay. It's just a small delay. All right. We have to take her back. How can I help? Is there any way to do the surgery with what we have at Chastain? No. But when I saw the weather coming in, I, I made a few calls. Lonesford College of Medicine is teaching surgical residents how to operate on fetuses in their sim lab. They may have the equipment we need. Bell's been teaching at Lunsford. I'll get him involved immediately. Uh-oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? He about to take some medicine, bro. Oh, gosh, bro. Sweetheart? Hey, they're ready for you in the OR. Dang. Just getting my good glasses. You gonna watch? Oh, yes. Okay, after you. Wow, that was close. And that's also bad. What did he just do? He just locked the door. What the hell? It's an egg. An egg? <sighs> that's not a tumor. Nope. A parasite. Wow. Which means our patient is gonna be fine. Man, That's nasty though. An egg? What the a parasite? Bro. We'll check on Bubba. What's happening? The mirror syndrome is getting worse. Yeah, it's gonna be intense, Do we need to man. stop? Yes, take her back to the ICU. Her heart could fail. We'll lose the twins. No. <laughs> and the problem is the heart you paid is Dr. Austin. Let's get an IV for some of my And I need an ultrasound wand. But you can. You watch that heart like a hawk. I'm going to keep her stable. You just do what you need to do, all right? You're losing him, Sullivan. No, the uterus is uh, filling with blood. Bleeding upon entry with the transplacental approach can happen. Smaller one's heart rate is climbing to 103. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my uh, god. Well, this triangle is going to make it so awkward yes! and hard. Like... Yes! Yes! Wow. Hopefully, nothing else goes wrong, though.
That was great. That was intense, man. Wow, I was so focused on that. Like, I was in the surgery. Oh, shoot. She's about to see. Uh-oh. This is going to be bad. You see that? Steady as a rock. <laughs> and Biden is president. <laughs> and he won. <laughs> the best news is you don't have cancer. I had a cute little worm. What you got from eating undercooked pork. I can't believe I did that. My kitchen test experiments with undercooked sausage will not be repeated. <laughs> hey, you. Oh. Hey. Guess you got up early. I convinced Irving to take my shift. Do you want to oh, get and go for some pizza? Uh -huh. Oh, Billy, you should come with. Yeah. You're so kind, but uh, I have two more surgeries today. Have fun. All right. See you later. Are they together? I can't go either. I gotta pick something up for Gigi and work on this nightmare situation. But I want to see you tonight. She goes to bed at 8.30, come by after. I'll bring the pizza. Whoa. Dang. I don't get it. Why didn't you tell him how you felt about it? <laughs> Maybe I did. No, because if you did, he would be with you right oh. now. Oh, doubt that. Whoa. See, they're uh, they're planting that seed. They're planting that seed. That seed. Well, there's an upside. Yeah. Conrad and I are closer than we've ever been. We're best friends. Ouch. <laughs> Time will come. My take. Time will come. But Conrad chose Cade, thinking you weren't interested because you were Nick's best friend. You figured that was a line you wouldn't cross, and you allowed yeah. him to think that because you never crossed it. Now it's too late. No. It's never too late to win the love of your life back. What kind of moon is it? A crescent moon. It's beautiful, isn't it? Man. Yes, Daddy. I just want to know myself. <laughs> you hear that, Owl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Owls love the dark. That's where they come out. Aren't owls beautiful? I love owls. Yeah, there's so many beautiful <laughs> things in the dark. What else is there? There's nothing that can hurt you. I'll go to sleep if you stay with me. <laughs> okay. I will. Bro, I love these two, man. Such a good father-daughter like relationship, man. Wow, that was a great episode. What a good that was a really, really good premiere episode. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, it's what I said though. What did I say at the beginning when I was talking? If Conrad chooses Cade in the first one or two episodes, it's not gonna go good for Cade. I do not see them lasting. Um, and honestly, I felt that Billy and Conrad connection way stronger than Cade. Uh, even though I like Cade, I really really like Cade. She's a great addition to the cast. And but I don't know. I mean, I need to see more like a big special moment with Cade and Conrad. Um, we haven't seen too many, and uh, I love the moment that Billy and Conrad had. Um, I, I loved it, man. It was really, really good. Uh, what AJ said, though, speaks volumes, though. It really, really speaks volumes, and it speaks to the the seed that they're gonna plant in the in the uh, the fandom's mind, and the you know everybody that watches the show right now. That yo, know, Conrad will choose Billy at some point, most likely, but he just didn't. He doesn't want to cross that line because he feels like it's wrong. Cause, cause Billy and uh, Nick were best friends, so that's that's understandable, and that what that is kind of, that's like really understandable, cause that is like a a super super like, did you cross that line? Is that a line to cross? You know, like is that too big? And I don't think anybody in the fandom is really thinking about that. Like that's a serious line, like that that's like serious like 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 um kind of wrong in a way, you know. So I don't think anybody in the fandom is really thinking about that uh, everybody just wants conrad and billy together but that that's a serious thing that conrad does have to like deal with and think about and i don't think he's gonna let himself think about it for a long time um and i think it's gonna be crazy when conrad finds out billy's feelings for him i think it's gonna be really really like really shocking i think it's gonna be in a dramatic scene an iconic scene i'm excited for it 
Um, this is a good scene. This is a good uh, episode. Really, really good episode. Uh, her dad, Kate's dad, Sullivan, like, yo, it's this. That's gonna be bad. She saw him taking the pills, and so I wonder what's gonna happen with that. Is she gonna keep it quiet? Is she gonna ask him about it? She's definitely gonna ask him about it. But what's gonna happen? Um, Padme, like, yo, that surgery was amazing. That surgery was wow. I was so in tune with that. That was crazy. Um, but he pulled it off. He uh, saved the baby's lives. Um, that was that was epic. Um, we got a little glimpse of Kit Bell. You know, Bell right now is doing treatments all the way in Minnesota. That's pretty. Dang. I wonder when he's gonna come back. Hopefully next episode. Um, AJ, man, I want to see AJ and Padme together. Hopefully we do. Um, and I think that'd be a really good relationship. I think it's gonna be really good. Um, and I mean. <laughs> Is it just me? Could you guys see AJ and Billy together? Could you guys see that? They spend they they seem like they're really close too. So I wonder, I wonder, could we see those two together? That would be that would be shocking. Um, but I don't know if AJ would do that because he already knows that Billy's true feelings are for Conrad. So I don't know. Maybe they're just really good friends, and hopefully the writers don't do something like that. That would be that would be um that would be surprising if they did something like that. Um. But once again, I love Conrad and Gigi's relationship. Um, I love him. This His whole focus is on Gigi, always. Um, and honestly, she really reminds me of Nick. Gigi, really, she really is Nick. Um, and I can't wait to see. Like, hopefully the show goes on long enough to where we can see her become like Nick, you know, in a way. You know, I think that would be really good and really special. Um, Devin, he didn't have too much in this episode. Uh, because the episode was pretty much focused on Padme and her um, her situation, and it was focused on the Conrad Billy K triangle in a way. Um, so and Sullivan, so I think it's gonna be really really interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes, but I like I like this premiere episode. It's really good. The rest of it is so I feel like it's still so underrated. Now a lot of people really like watch it or know about it, but it's I think it's the best Doctor show on TV right now, and I think it's so so good. But, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's been your brother, Lizzie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.